Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to style an unordered list so that it fits nicely within the text of a paragraph. So occasionally, you might want to style a list that's actually part of a paragraph. And we have an example here. Basically, uh, within this paragraph of text, common campfire structures include the cone, the log cabin, and the pyramid. And we want to structure that so that it fits well regardless of the number of list items or the order of the list items and things like that. So let's play around with this a little bit. Now I already have a web page set up here and you'll notice I've got just two dummy paragraphs, but let me go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get rid of the class that's on there. And I'm gonna get rid of this entire unordered list. And we're left with just a regular paragraph. Now let's say within this paragraph, I did wanna include, oh, let's see, I'll, I'll even re redo this part here. So I would end the previous sentence and then um, do something like common campfire structures include, and then I don't even want to type the colon in here. I just want to go right into my unordered list, which I'm going to do as a class equals IP list for in paragraph list and that puts my closing unordered list, and then I'll have my series of list items. Let's see, I'm gonna have uh, the cone, the pyramid, and it looks like I'm good for all of my, un my list items and unordered list. Now let's see how this looks without doing any styling. There we go. And it looks like what we would expect it to look like. It is an unordered list, and yep, I see the bullets for my unordered list. So let's start to modify this. Now, because I'm putting this unordered list, which ultimately I want it to be an inline element inside of this paragraph, I'm gonna be styling a couple of things, and I'm gonna be using quite a few pseudo elements in this demonstration. Um, I'm gonna give this paragraph its own class as well. Class equals P list. So then I can distinguish it from a regular paragraph. So a P list paragraph is going to be a paragraph that contains a list. And of course, my IP list unordered list is an in paragraph list. Of course, you can make up whatever class names make sense to you. And let's start off here. I'm going to go to my dot P list, which is my paragraph. And I'm going to display that as an inline element. However, I am going to go ahead and say all of my paragraphs need to have a margin bottom of 1.5 M's. So that'll separate it from the other, any other paragraphs that might be on there. Cool. All right, I think I'm good for that for now. Now let's go to dot um, IP list. That's my in paragraph list. That's the unordered list. And I will go ahead and do display inline on that as well. And see if we get any reaction. Not so much yet. However, the list items inside of that unordered list are still block elements. So we'll fix that up soon enough. We can go ahead and do this though. List style none to get rid of those bullets. And while I'm here, dot IP list list items, let's display these as inline. And that's going to have a pretty dramatic impact and we can see our common campfire structures include the cone, the log cabin, the pyramid. They're all kind of scrunched up um, in a weird way, so they're tough to read. But I think we got the hard part over. Now let's work on the pseudo elements to put in the spaces and the commas and the ands and the colons and stuff where we might want them. Okay, so let's see. Let's go back to our dot .ip list. And I'm going to do dot .ip list colon colon before content quotation colon space. This is going to put a colon before the unordered list in the text. And you can see it right in here. So common campfire structures include colon space, the cone, and so forth. All right, I dig that. Now let's go down here. Dot IP list li colon colon after. Okay, after each list item content, quotation, comma, space, quotation. This will put the comma and the space after each list item. And we can see that starting to structure there. The cone, comma, the log cabin, comma, the pyramid. However, we don't quite want it to be the same way for that last one. So 
And what we're going to do here is dot IP list colon single uh, single colon. Um, nope, take that back. IP list li single colon last child colon colon before. So before the last list item in my list, let's see, I'm going to do content quotation and space. All right, I like that, and that should put and the pyramid. Okay, and then I just have to get rid of that comma at the very end, dot IP list li last child colon colon after content. Now, if I just did an empty set of quotes, that would definitely get rid of the comma, but I also want to end this list. This is going to be the end of a clause, end of a sentence, so to speak. So I'm going to change that to a period. Now, I'm not sure if I want a space there or not. We'll find out soon enough, though. Um, let's see how this looks just with that period in there. Yeah, it looks like I do want that space in there. So let's go ahead and put in the space, period, space. Now we can see how this looks. Common campfire structures include the cone, comma, the log cabin, comma, and the pyramid, period. Excellent. So we've just styled out a really typical unordered list within a paragraph of text using a series of pseudo elements and a lot of display inline. Remember, unordered lists and list items by default are block elements. We're telling the browser to display those as inline elements just so it really stands out to us. How about if we did something like this? Dark red. Now we can really see where that list is in my paragraph text. Excellent. Thanks for hanging out with me.